Ashford Elementary families. Today is Friday, May 1st. I'm Jenny Mosher and this is episode 19 of the Junior Rebel Express Show. Let's start today's show off with a challenge from Mr. Howe. Good morning, CRCS. Today we're going to do an activity that's inside uh, simply because it's pouring outside today and so we decided to do an activity inside. If you take a look at uh, the floor right here, this is going to be indoor shuffleboard using bean bags. Now, if you don't have bean bags, I'm going to show you what I did. I made a bean bag using an old pillowcase that we were no longer using. Um, I took a half a cup of sand. You could also use beans. You could use rice. You could use small pebbles. Um, whatever you can find around the house that would use you could use as a bean bag filling. I put that in a plastic uh, sandwich bag put it inside the pillowcase and then I use duct tape around the edges to seal everything in. So you can make yourself a bean bag if you don't have any around the house, which a lot of you probably don't. I would suggest just making two because it would be too hard to make say four or five or six and you don't need that many, just two. Um, you could actually get away with one, but two would be a good idea to play this game. So if you take a look at the triangle that I made on the floor, um, you can make the small triangle towards the top, your, your, like your highest point, so maybe five points. The one in the middle would be two points, and then the one on the end would be one point. Or you can make the system however you want. If you don't have the tape, you could also use buckets, or you could use boxes to try to make a point system and use bu buckets or, or boxes instead. But since we made this tape, I made it out of painter's tape. Uh, we're going to play a small game, or at least show you how to play and I'm gonna challenge my daughter, Kate. So here we go. Go ahead, Kate. All right, Kate's in the middle one, so we say that's maybe two points. I'm gonna try and see if I can get one in the five points. So if you take a look at what happened here, we're both in the middle one. Um, you can play two ways. You can play where it's got to be completely in the area to count. And so if it's touching a line, it doesn't count, but that's up to you. Um, so right now we're both in the area, so we both have two points. So you can just keep playing until you get to 11 and have an indoor shuffle game, indoor shuffle board game. Talk to you later, CRCS. As you know, earlier this week on one of Mr. Howe's videos, he challenged Mr. Erickson. Here's Mr. Erickson's response to Mr. Howe's challenge. So, Mr. Howe, uh, challenge accepted. I uh, love it. Great idea. I uh, just wanted to show you this great little picture of me salmon fishing on the Kenai River in Seldotten, Alaska, oh, probably five or six years ago. Hope to make it back up there soon. I will be using an open reel today. I bought this pole for five bucks, wooden one. And a rummage sale, and it's my favorite fishing pole. I actually caught a 40 pound muskie on this pole. So we'll see how we do. Um, I got a red and uh, no. blue and orange no. on there. No. Uh, place where I go fishing no. in Canada. All the fish we catch, it's always on blue and orange. Here we go. No. 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 My assistant Yoshi here with me that barks at everything I do. Something. Right, this could be 
feeling it. I got it down. Hey, Mr. Howe, thank you for the challenge. I had a great time doing this. Got me inspired. Maybe we're going to go out and do some fishing here in the next couple of days. And the weather warms up, and uh, I thank you. CRCS Junior Rebels, I love you guys. We miss you, and uh, can't wait to see you again. Take care. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Erickson. Guys, if you have a response to any of Mr. Howe's videos, like what Mr. Erickson did, please send them to me. They can be pictures or videos. Send them to me and we will feature them on the show as well. Okay, next let's talk about internet. If you live in a location that does not have strong Wi-Fi, we have a list of locations you can go to and use the Wi-Fi there. Also not listed is the Firemersville Fire Hall parking lot. They have Wi-Fi there as well that you can get to. Next, let's talk about breakfast and lunch pickups. You know the deal, Monday through Friday, we have two locations where you go and pick up that day's lunch as well as the next day's breakfast. There's the Cuba Rushford Elementary parking lot and the Rushford Fire Hall parking lot. No need to call ahead unless you can't make it and you want a meal delivered for you. Here are the hotline numbers for you. Okay, next, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was be awesome day. Cuba Rushford Elementary did not disappoint. I got so many pictures and videos from all of you of you guys just being awesome on be awesome day. CR. This is Mr. Kemp and I'm just checking in on a be awesome day. Even though it's rainy outside, you can still find a way to be awesome. Right, Addy? We're going to find a way to be awesome. So yeah, even in the rain, you can find some way to try to be awesome. Hope you guys find yours. A-W-E. S-O-M-E. Awesome. Awesome. Today is an awesome day. Our kids have worked awesomely and it is raining, but so what? We love you. We miss you. Happy awesome day. Hi, CRCS Rebels. Have an awesome day. Amazing. This makes me so proud to be a Cuba Rushford Rebel. Be awesome, Cuba Rushford. Up next, it's Friday, so you know what that means. Miss Jaboo's joke of the week. How do honeybees get to school? They take the school buzz. <laughs> Good one, Miss Jaboo. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have content for the show, feel free to email them to me, tag me on Twitter, or just use hashtag MyCRCS so that we can all see what you are up to. Today's Friday, so the next video will be out on Monday.